Tired of staring at boring Windows 11 desktop? Well, get ready to have your mind blown. I'm about to show you how to turn your desktop into a masterpiece with hidden tricks and easy tips that you won't believe you missed. No tech skills needed, just a desire to make your computer screen amazing. Smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome tips. And with that said, let's get started. First, let's install a custom cursor. But before we do that, if you like the wallpaper, which I currently have on my desktop, then make sure that you check out my brand new Breeze wallpaper pack by clicking the first link in the video description below. Now let's install a custom cursor. So I really like to get my cursors from this website. It's called deviantart.com. And if you search for the cursors here on the search input field, and then I also sort them by most recent here. And that's how you get pretty much the latest cursors on your Windows 11 machine. Of course, some of them are paid. For example, this one right here, you will have to pay around $3 to get the cursor. But the one which I really, really like, and it's actually free, is this one right here down below here. It's called Material Design Cursor, and you can get it completely for free. And we actually won't download this one from deviantart.com. So if you scroll down here, you'll see this link to GitHub. And if you click on it, and by the way, I will also put this link in the video description below. And once here on this website, you will see that we have basically two versions of the same cursor. We have the light one, we have the dark one, and we have also many of the sizes like regular, we have Excel and the very large one as well. So here on this page, how you will download this cursor, it's quite simple. Under this code, you will find the option called download zip. So if you click on this, you will get the .zip file straight away inside your downloads folder. And once you have it, you will click on this simple folder icon here and you will be redirected to your downloads folder. Now, once here, click on extract all and then once again, click on the extract. And once that's finished, you will go to this folder and here you will find folder with the name resources. So if you navigate straight away right here, you will have two of the options. I will go with the dark one and here you have three of the sizes. I will go with the largest size possible. And once here you will find this file, it's called install file. So if you right click on it and if you click on the install here, you can click on open and then you can click yes here. And if you get the same error as me right here, you will find another alternative path how you can actually install a custom cursor on your Windows. If the installation went through, you will find your cursor right here. If you go to the start menu, search for the mouse, and here you will click on this option, change the mouse pointer display or speed. Now, once here, you will navigate to the pointer section, and here you will basically find your installed new cursor cursor. But for those for which the installation wasn't actually successful, you will have to manually install the cursor. This method is also quite straightforward. So basically, here you will select the cursor which you want to replace. Here you have the normal select. Here you will click on browse and then you will go here to your this PC. You can go to your local disk C. Then you will go under the users go to your user, in this case is Tech Enthusiast, and here you will also navigate to your downloads folder where you have your downloaded cursor. Here navigate to your folder and here pick the version which you like. I will go with the largest size and here you will have to match this cursor with the one which you have here inside this file. In this case, normal select cursor is called pointer. So here I will select the pointer, click on open, and now we have here the new cursor. And right now you will just repeat the process. So basically select the help select here, click on browse and here you will go here to the help and click on open and basically repeat the same process for every single type of the cursor. And then here down below, you will click on the apply and you should see how the cursor should change. So this is how you actually manually install a cursor file 
if the installation method doesn't go through. So right now, let's switch to the wallpaper. So for this tutorial, I chose this one right here. It's from Sebastian Swenson. And this one is really, really cool one. And it also is in about 8K resolution. So this one right here, click on original size and you will also get the file on your computer. Now you can go here to your downloads folder and you can select the file here and select here set as background. And now if I minimize my browser, you should see that we have a brand new wallpaper on, on our desktop and if you guys are interested in my brand new wallpaper pack by the way you can check out my brand new wallpaper pack by clicking the first link in the video description now let's move on to the widgets so to install the widgets on your computer we are going to use the rain meter so rain meter and i will also put this exact link for the rain meter in the video description down below by the way and once on this page you can simply click on download here and click on save here and now we can navigate to our downloads folder and right click on the rain meter here and click on run as administrator. Click on OK here on the installation setup. Click on next here and click on the install. And once you have the rain meter installed, you will find its icon inside the system tray right here. And you can put it somewhere here. And now we will need to install some of the widgets for the rain meter as well. So let's just open the web browser and and let's search for the jack score so you can go here basically to its github page and by the way i will also put this link in the video description down below and if you guys are enjoying the content so far make sure that you smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel now once on this page you can go here to the releases and here we will find this file which ends with dot rm s k i n and you can just click on this and you will get this file and to be able to install this file of course you will need to have rain meter installed so if you haven't installed it already make sure that you do so it's quite easy as i showed you earlier in this video just click on this rm skin file and here you will see rain meter skin installer click on install here once you have the jack scores widget installed you will click here down below to skip the tutorial and you will see this first screen now you will go here to the library section of this widget and here you will find plenty of the modules as well as of the widgets and the one which i'm going for is actually called modular clocks so if you click on here you can then just click on this green download arrow to install this exact widget which is provided by the jack score and once you have this skin installed you should see here a message called installed and now you can just click on activate the widget by just clicking here you can navigate here under the general options and here you'll find plenty of the styles for this exact widget and the style which I'm going for is this one right here and uh, you can also just click on the widget and put it somewhere on your desktop I will put it somewhere here and now you can just go here to the style options and I will change the widget size to a bit bigger one so 1.25 and then just click on enter and that is pretty much it for this exact widget. Now let's move on to the next one, which is called Monterey Rain Meter Widget. So just search for the Monterey. And if the name actually tells you it's actually macOS inspired widget pack, you can go here to this GitHub page as well. And I will also put this link in the video description down below. I will go here to the releases, click on save, and you can just click on this file once again. To install this exact widget click on the install here you will go under the appearance and i will change the theme to the blur and you can go back here to the widgets here and i will put on my desktop the calendar widget the weather widget and that is pretty much it. Now I can close the settings here. I will right click on this widget, click on the large and I will put it somewhere here. And now for the weather widget, I will put it somewhere here and the, at the middle and I will put here the option called white and put it somewhere here. If you want to change the actual different city of the weather widget, you can just right click on it, click on edit weather and change the city to whatever. I will put here London, click on enter 
and then you can just click on save here and that is pretty much it i think that the setup is complete and with that said this is pretty much it for this video i will leave every single widget and tool used in this video linked in the video description below and if you guys haven't already make sure that you smash up the like button subscribe to the channel have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all in the next one peace